Um, if you're hearing noise in the background, I have Softlax company up. Um, and I'm kind of watching them off to the side. They're having a live, and it's Kristen. Um, this, uh, I have to make Alan a necklace and bracelet for his five-year-old niece. Her birthday's July something. Um, it's his little brother's. Um, little girls. Um, his little brother is like the age of my oldest offspring. I was trying to figure out what I was going to use because um, she's five. Alan says every time he sees her, she's always got like dressed like she's from like the 1920s. <laughs> um, I really don't want to spend or use my good beats. I'm sorry, I don't. But I was at the Dollar Tree today. Today was my payday. You know, by the time I pay bills, there's not a whole lot left. Um, so I was doing my groceries and things, and I went to the Dollar Tree to get a few things, and I spotted these. I figured I would use maybe the white, red, and pink. Maybe throw in, I don't know. I just was picking them up. Why not try that, right? I'm gonna kind of measure this. I guess I'm gonna cut, let's just cut off 24 inches. Close enough, right? And of course, I use the old ones. So, there's that. This is the bracelet and necklace binding. And it looks like there's some um, um, bead, crib beads. Lobster clasps, a bit of chain, and some jump rings. So I am just going to open this. Yeah, but it's sealed. Terrific. Okay. Is there anything really I need here? Let's get the lobsters out. If they're half as good as the packaging, good deal. So there's a couple lobster. Let's use the jump rings. I'll need so I'll just spill out a few and let's just stop there it's not that I don't care how it turns out I also don't want it to fall apart um so let's just open these. I want to see what these are like. All right, so these are the round ones. They have like an 80 finish. These I'll definitely use. They're definitely plastic, but I will use these. So we're going to pour them out. Well, they went all over. 
And I'm definitely going to use the pink ones. Again, they got that AB finish. Here is the kind of purple black. Looks like they're black with an AB finish. I don't know, guys. No, I don't like them with it. But you get to see what they look like. And I will put them in the bigger bag. Oh, I'm trying. And here are the ones that are like that, but in a drop. Now they're not so bad, but they're in a drop. I'm not sure if I'll use them or just set them there. Here are the um, drop shape. Um, some of them do have like pieces of plastic. You can cut that off. I'll set out some of these. And then you have the drop and the red. I'll probably set out some of these. And that fell out of the bag. They do have these like rainbow colored. I was curious about these. I know they're dyed. So what my curiosity is, if that color is going to rub off. You know, we're talking a child here. Or if it's going to scrape off. Doesn't seem to be. No, I don't like that color with it. Um, there's purple, blue, and orange. Really no color I want to put in here, but I wanted to pick these up. Just to kind of check these out. We've got the green again with the dye. Just so you guys kind of see what these pearl beads look like. Um, so let's go ahead and um, kind of get an idea of where I want to go with this. Maybe do something like this. Or put these back to back with a pink in the middle. And then kind of repeat that. You know, just kind of anything. Pink, white, pink, white, pink, pink white and just keep going with this kind of pattern oh that's more than long enough I think it's actually too long but let's go ahead and string this my middle is actually this right here this pink this one this one and this is how I need to do it And I want to make sure I'm putting them on equally, but this is my middle bead.
So I did stop. I can put them all on that I had out there. I put a clip on one end. I've got almost the whole thing done. So it's going to be about 22 inches or so. I put a crimp tube on. Put my clamshell on. It's on there tight. Um, he's probably not going to like this. He's going to pick it up and he's going to say, well, that's too sharp. Because they're not smooth beads, okay? Uh, I'm going to hug it and then squeeze tight here. They are not smooth. They are more... Uh, they're not real sharp. It is what it is. They're not, you know, perfect. <laughs> they're Dollar Tree beads. They're good enough for what they are. Again, I opened my clamshell all the way up, put the um, bead stringing wire up through the bottom of the clamshell, out through the mouth, and dropping my crimp tube all the way down, making sure that it is all the way down, but it is going to be uh, not poker straight, but no spaces. I'm mashing my crimp tube. I got a New York phone number come across. It did not ring long. I ignored it. Pull. It's good. And then I'm going to clip. And I have a lot of space, which is okay. Um, again, I'm going to hug that, squeeze the end. I can put, um, well, it's, it's not noticeable. That's why I like using the red, the matching color. And you can see the red through the beads. Really nice. So let's give their jump rings a try. These look to be about a five millimeter. And they're very sturdy. I do like them. And lobster. And nice. Works very nice. I will get a bigger jump ring out to clasp into. This is like an eight millimeter. Back it up a little bit. There we go. So there's the necklace. Let's put together the bracelet. How long does that come out? She's chunky. I think that'll be good. Um, 
this is going to be pretty straightforward. I forgot. Good enough. Crimp tubes, I will add a, um, little length of chain That gives room for it to wiggle around her wrist. Plus there will be chain. I forgot to clip this, sorry. I do like the clasps. I don't know, I'm just very skeptical. Let's get a piece of the chain out. I get a test. Is it plastic? It's plastic. A chain is garbage. Don't use it. Could have guessed. 
If I can snap their chain without even tugging, their chain is garbage. I'm just going to cut off just a small piece. Don't think she really needs it. So we know the chain is garbage. Shane. So there I have made a set for him to give to his niece who turns five sometime this month. Um, using Crafter Square. Uh, products. I just showed you the chain. I did not pull that hard. If you can do that, throw it away. The chain is garbage. Um, the jump rings are pretty sturdy. I love their clasps. They're good. They're heavy. I did not use their crimp. Uh, the little crimp things, um, but there you have it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to all of you guys in the comments.